At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. This incident took place in the primary section of the school at about 10 o'clock this morning. There were two classrooms in the building and there were 53 students present when the roof collapsed, injuring 13 female and 9 male students of grade 5. We were working upstairs. We heard a loud noise. The roof collapsed. We saved the children by taking them out. They were injured. Some of them were under beams. Parents of students rushed to the school upon hearing of this incident. We spoke to a parent whose child previously attended classes in the building. We asked them to repair it when our children were in grade 5. They did not listen to us then. Didn't they realize that it is dangerous? I can't say anything about it now. I must first obtain the secretary's permission to speak to you. Teachers also complained that this has been a long-standing issue. These buildings are constructed in a substandard manner. Bulldozers are not used on public roads, but here they are. Other officials of the Central Province Education Zone also visited the school. Chief Minister of the Central Province, Sarath Ekanayaka and Governor of the Central Province, Niluka Ekanayaka, visited the injured children at the General Hospital of Kandy. There are only minor injuries. All the children are in good health now. As educational authorities, we must take responsibility of this situation. We believe that it should have been repaired when necessary. Four million rupees were allocated for this school in 2016. Unfortunately, we were not able to complete repairs at the right time. We are not blaming anyone. We hope to investigate this matter further and provide necessary requirements to the school.